But what we're dealing with right now is the heat. Uh, excessive heat warning will continue through tomorrow. It's been extended. Kind of just take these one day at a time, but it's going to get extended into Friday, Saturday, probably Sunday as well, because our temperatures the next several days really aren't going to change. It's going to be just as hot tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is what it's been out there at the moment. And reminder, we continue to have that red flag warning for everybody kind of along I 35 W and off to the west. We have that fire ongoing in parts of Wise County right now, which is not only under a burn ban, but also under that red flag warning. Uh, so just use extreme fire safety precaution over the next several I mean, really for the foreseeable future until we can get rid of the fire danger and until we get some decent rain back here, or really high humidity and cooler temperatures, which I really don't have in the forecast anytime soon. So here's all the current burn bans. Basically everybody west of I 35 is under a burn ban at the moment. Cook County is not, although I did see I believe they're discussing whether or not they're going to be an under a burn ban. I think maybe this upcoming Friday could happen before that. So uh, Cook County be paid attention to that. Kaufman County and Henderson County got added to the burn ban list today. So the dominoes are falling here in North Texas. I wouldn't be surprised if more continue to be added over the next several days, even in the areas outside of that red flag warning, because it's not like fire danger is completely zero in those locations. It's hot, it's dry, nothing going on on the satellite and radar besides the monsoonal desert monsoonal showers and storms across far west Texas up into New Mexico. Excessive heat warnings continue for kind of the whole eastern half of Texas at the moment. But as I expand the view here, look at this. Nothing going on across the western part of the country. That's good news for places like Phoenix and Vegas and California that were remember how hot they were earlier this summer, but now the core of the heat has moved our way and basically sitting right on top of us at the moment. And that's why there's none of those heat alerts for that part of the country. That high pressure system, though, the heat dome is going to kind of move back to the west as we head into the weekend. It'll set up west of us just enough that yeah, we're still going to be at or above 100 degrees for the most of the foreseeable future, but it might just open the door just enough next week for a weak front to drop down in here. That high pressure might shrink a little bit as well, and what that could do is uh, drop maybe a weak front into North Texas, and it might provide the focus for a few showers and storms across the area as well. I'm not promising anything widespread or soaking, but maybe a little bit of a cool down from, you know, 105 on Sunday to 101 on Monday to maybe around 99 this upcoming Tuesday through the weekend. I don't have any record temperatures. It looks like Saturday would be the only day where we might get at least a little bit closer to that record because the high is 106 and the record is a 107 setback in that summer of 2011, which this week that past summer, it's like five or six days in a row. Our records are from 2011, including the one that we tied yesterday afternoon. Warm, dry and muggy tonight. 83 will be your low and then very hot, dry and breezy tomorrow. Another excessive heat warning. We covered that and it's also another ozone action day uh, tomorrow. I think we've had one of those in effect since this past weekend for all of DFW. There are my rain coverages for next week. It's nothing high. It's nothing, you know, that you could get too excited about, but at least it's some rain chances. And I do believe at least, you know, several of those days next week there will be rain somewhere in North Texas, probably favoring maybe kind of the northern northeastern portions of the area, which is unfortunate for the drought because, you know, it's kind of the western and southwestern portions of North Texas, which have the worst of the drought at the moment. But I guess we'll take uh, what we can get.